All right, this is Barry and Eric again. We're going to do a firearm facts. It's called Proper Ammo Stories. We were going to call it Ammo Longevity, but it's, this is the same thing. Uh, we've got uh, long-term storage. Now, you can buy ammo that's uh, hermet hermetically sealed. This is Fiocchi 45 ammunition, sealed up just like a sardine can. Hermetically sealed. It's not uh, air can't get to it. That should last a long time. Now, also, if you buy ammo in just a box like this, if you store it under proper conditions, it's not going to go bad anyway. Now, ideal storage for ammunition is probably what you would call an average bedroom, 68 to 72 uh, degrees, uh, average temperature that you would feel comfortable. If you feel comfortable with the temperature, this ammo will feel the same. Now, uh, you got. Uh, don't touch ammo with your bare hands, especially steel cases, because now you have acid in your fingers. Red-headed people have a lot of acid in their fingers. They will rust something uh, in no time at all. But you can store it in ammo cans. Uh, these are uh, regular military cans that, are, that have a rubber seal in them. You can buy the Spam cans, we call it, for the uh, 762 by 39 762 by 54 etc. This, this is long term. This, this, you're not going to harm ammo in there. Now, uh, you can have a 50 caliber can like this with a good liner. Uh, silica gel packs that absorb moisture in there. That's good. Uh, you always make sure your ammo cans have a good seal. And you can take a little grease and put on the seal inside and that will make it seal better. Airtight plastic bags, you can go to the uh, Walmart or whatever and buy a uh, food storage where you uh, vacuum pack thing, you can vacuum pack your ammunition. That would be excellent in addition to putting it in here. Uh, vacuum seal bags there, again. Um, hand loaders longevity. Now, a lot of times hand loaders used to seal the primers with clear fingernail polish. Uh, that, will water, that will seal your primer. And I guess you could probably do it around the bullet itself. Yeah, that would, that would seal those up and make them uh, moisture tight. Uh, Don't, do not expose ammo to high temperature. High temperature will break down the components of this ammunition. Now, if you've got a, a, a non-climate control storage building, especially around here in Georgia, it gets like 130 degrees in there. You don't want to store ammo in there. You want to keep it at a temperature that you would feel comfortable with, if at all possible. Now, if you're loading uh, steel cased ammo, you don't want to touch it with your bare hands. Now, there again, you acid in your, in your fingers. Uh, don't load steel ammo in mags for storage with bare hands. Now, there's all kinds of ways to store ammo, but there again, always, this is your most important, right here. The temperature of that ammunition. It will break down if you store it to high temperature. Now, coal will also affect ammunition. Coal, extreme cold will make ammunition less powerful as long as it's cold. But coal doesn't break down the components like heat does. So you always want to keep uh, your ammo at that temperature. Well, Eric was bringing up a point too, like overseas, like over in the, in, the, uh, in the Iraq or something like that where it gets real hot, they find these ammo caches the ammo is no good in them, or the ammo is broken down, and there again, what does that is the extreme heat. Uh, heat is what breaks them down, and that's just the way it is. Well, this week's Gun Facts was ammo longevity and how to store your ammunition, and we appreciate everybody tuning in, and we'll see you next time.